While speaking to a closed door meeting with House Democrats, Obama is quoted in the Washington Post as saying the following. This is the moment that the world is waiting for. I have become a symbol of the possibility of America returning to our best traditions. Here's President. the problem. The problem is arrogance. Americans will not abide by arrogance. Senator Obama has certainly received his share or more of it than his share of favorable mainstream media coverage. But now there are questions about it, whether all that adoration has gone to his head. And some of the people asking those questions are journalists in the mainstream media. Correspondent James Rosen explains. When a good-looking man can hit a three-pointer on command, command an audience of 200,000 foreigners for a speech on democratic values, and come from behind to beat the most fearsome Democratic Party machine at its own game, all while moving with undeniable grace and agility, and coated with a Teflon veneer of urban cool, why, even the most modest among us might develop what pre-internet Austrian pundit Sigmund Freud called an ego problem. The signs have been there for a while now, starting with that presidential-style seal the Obama campaign experimented with briefly. People of the world, this is our moment. The presumptive nominee has also recently struck a few grand notes in those lyrical speeches of his, declared himself unburdened by uncertainty about his qualifications to serve as commander-in-chief. Do you have any doubts? Never. And offered his own handicap Monday that his odds of winning the White House are, quote, very good. He's the biggest celebrity in the world. But is he ready to lead? It's not just the McCain campaign in its latest ad that has spotted the tood. ABC News' Rick Klein notes on the note, if you look carefully at what Senator Barack Obama is doing and saying, you can watch his self-image swell to fill the mold being fitted for him. The Boston Globe hears the chorus of voices suggesting that Barack Obama might be getting ahead of himself and more than a little full of himself is growing louder. And even over at MSNBC.com, political director Chuck Todd writes this narrative has been ready to accept explode this arrogance watch. Some see Obama violating the cardinal sin of politics, acting as if this campaign is about him. He needs to remember that he's latching on to the anti-Bush coattails. Any Democrat would be up right now. Barack Obama is on thin ice at this point. He needs to step away from the world stage, get back to dealing with real people who do normal things, who have normal problems, or else he's going to lose his touch with the American electorate. He um, has been swimming in this kind of liberal, cosmopolitan uh, type um, atmosphere for a long time and has taken on some of its trappings and it's part of the reason that he wasn't able to connect even with working class Democrats in the Democratic primaries. The Obama campaign twice had to be reminded today that their man is not the president yet. The first came as a senior foreign policy advisor was discussing Obama's upcoming speech in Berlin and why it was to be delivered before an audience that could number tens of thousands. The advisor said, quote, it is not going to be a political speech. When the president of the United States goes and gives a speech, it is not a political speech or a political rally. A reporter then reminded the advisor, quote, but he is not president of the United States. The advisor replied, quote, he's going to talk about the issues as an individual and not as a candidate, but as an individual, as a senator. Later, two senior Obama advisors refused to give an on-the-record briefing concerning the senator's meetings with Jordan's King Abdullah. One, who used to work in the Clinton administration, said, quote, in all my years with the White House, I never read out a meeting on the record. Again, reporters pointed out that Obama is not the president, and this is not a White House trip. As a result, no briefing occurred.